Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, pretty happy. Fire restrictions have finally been lifted in Manitoba. We got some uh, significant rain in the last uh, 24 hours and a lot cooler temps. So, I'm out, uh, I'm out scouting public lands right now for uh, my bow hunting spot for deer. Now, I found this spot before. It's a new area I've never ever hunted in before. Um, so, who knows what's going to happen out here. Um, but basically, the spot that I found, and I'll share it with you guys here, uh, it's pretty neat So as you can see here, this is all kind of open right here um, Basically right there. I got a deer trail coming in right here. I got a deer trail coming in right here I got a main trail right here. That's really been worn down and actually I found this over the winter There was tracks here everywhere. I also got a deer trail coming in right here and if not mistaken, there's a deer trail coming in right here. So it almost seems like this is a major, major intersection point. And I think that honestly this is going to be a really good spot for me to set up. Now there are a couple downfalls to this spot. The main forest road for this area really isn't that far away from here. So uh, now that the the fire restrictions have kind of lifted I am a little bit worried about ATV traffic it's gonna make too much noise so I am gonna walk into the bush today I am gonna set up a plan B I mean you always got to have a plan B but for right now I'm just gonna build myself so see this tree right here my plan is I want to build myself a little ground blind I want to kind of cap this off in the back I want to kind of cut some of these branches so I can actually shoot my bow uh, basically 360 and that's what I'm going to kind of work on doing here is uh, kind of cover up my body but give myself some some shooting room so I can kind of just pop up take a quick shot and hopefully get a deer uh, then we're going to head into the bush because I said I want to have a plan B I also brought my bow along so there she is and uh, we're going to do a little stump shooting as well so should be a fun day
there she is. So we've actually found like three or four good spots back here. So my plan is to where we, where we built the blind. Uh, that's where I'm gonna hunt first. Um, if I notice it's just a clusterfuck with all the quarters and all that kind of stuff, I'll move deeper into the woods. I got some spots already uh, scoped out. Like even right here, I have uh, I've got a main deer trail right here. Main deer trail right here. Big heavy deer trail right here. Uh, that kind of goes from here all the way to there. So, like I said, I got some options. I'm not scared to go to go deep. I actually I built myself a cart this year, and if I have to drag a deer out pretty far, I will. Um, I really don't care. I'm really excited for the solo hunt, though. I need. Uh, it's been a hard year. It's been a hard couple years. Um, COVID. My wife just lost her mom last year to stroke and cancer. Now my grandfather's in the hospital with uh, terminal cancer. So trying to stay positive. Uh, sometimes it's hard. Um, but coming out here, this is my therapy. Shooting my bow, this is my therapy. This is uh, exactly what I needed. And, you know, unfortunately in Manitoba this year, we had uh, a lot of forest fires. So... <laughs> The back, the back country's been kind of closed most of the summer, so um, yeah, it just really feels good to be back out here. Um, definitely getting really excited. I think it's uh, ten, sl ten sleeps till the start of deer season, so uh, I won't be. It, it opens up on August thirtieth. I won't be hunting until about September fourth, September fifth, and. Uh, gonna get out here super super early the nice thing with archery season is I actually got four extra hours of hunting over rifle season with the daylight and all that kind of stuff so that's pretty neat um, so yeah so I'm hoping they're not gonna be spooked I'm hoping that I'm gonna get some nice deer coming across my path and uh, I get my first deer especially with a bow that'd be sick so anyways I'm just gonna walk around shoot a couple more stunts uh, stumps arrow down uh, that one took about <laughs> to five or six stumps before I broke it I'll just cut her back and uh, make a little bit shorter and still be a nice little stump shooter well back of the truck well that was a fun little adventure like I said I got uh, plan A plan B plan C and plan D so that's the thing with, with hunting public lands you got to have 
some contingency plans because it doesn't always work out the way you want it to work out. Even last year, me and my uh, stepdad had a wicked hunting spot. And these two bozos go and set up uh, 200 yards uh, in the direction where we were going to shoot. I mean, that's the that's the joys of public land. So I'm done with that kind of hunting where we're hunting power lines. I want to get into the bush, get away from people, just be able to enjoy being out here. Um, I think that's going to be a more enjoyable experience for me, a more natural experience for me. So like I said, pretty excited. Uh, it's definitely fun doing some stump shooting, which I'm going to continue doing. I'm just going to put the camera away for now. And uh, hope you guys liked my ground blind. That was a lot of fun to build. And like I said, just getting excited for the year season. So if you guys like this content, um, hit that like button. You know, if you're new to this channel, go check out the rest of my stuff. If you like my content, feel free to subscri subscribe. We got some really good hunting content coming up. My first bow season. So getting pretty stoked. Anyways, we're going to end it there. You guys have a great day and we'll catch you guys in the next one.